This is the uh, Sockeye Witness News reporting here live here on uh, PC territory in the city of Pitt Meadows. Pitt Meadows Day 2019, June 1st. And we have the wonderful Jack Amberly. How are you doing today? Uh, good, thank you very much. I'd really like to say thank you to, uh, to Mr. Sockeye and the Sockeye Video News because it's really difficult to get good news coverage today of any significant event. And I'm glad to see that you guys are the exception and you're out there because we need the public to know what's going on. Thank you very much, Sockeye, Mr. Sockeye. Well, Sockeye Witness News, you know, we're not on the ground, we're below it underwater and we have a fishing perspective on things. So you have some news to report about some fish inc incident locally. Can you tell us more about that, please? Yeah, it's really a horrific thing. Uh, we're in beautiful Pitt Meadows, the natural place, and just north of us at uh, on Katsy Slough, where it meets the uh, South Alouette River, Mr. Sockeye, there was a fish kill. Some of your relatives, some coho and some cutthroat in the mix, hundreds of fish were actually killed because they ended up on Pitt Meadows' uh, screen uh, that screens the, the weeds out of the system. And they were literally scraped off scooped up and taken to the garbage dump. I, I'm sorry to have to tell you that. I know you are upset. I know a lot of people are upset. But this this is really bad infrastructure being allowed to kill fish when we need all kinds of fish to feed things like they were. Oh man, that was a human mouthful of garbage. I can't believe this. Like honestly, my fish lips are frozen in shock right now. Can you see that? Why in the heck would humans allow that to happen? Honestly, I thought they are really intelligent creatures. Can you explain why this behavior is allowed to continue? I cannot explain it. It makes no sense unless somewhere the, uh, the city got an exemption from the Fisheries Act to kill fish. But I talked to experts who say that is very unlikely. The case is being investigated by the Conservation and Protection Branch of the uh, Provincial Government, Ministry of the Environment, and I hope we soon get to an answer and we stop this sort of thing from ever happening again. Have they made a decision yet? No, they have not, and uh, we have to keep after them so that it doesn't disappear. Dude, that sucks so bad. Anyways, I gotta go because I'm starting to dry up and someone wants to smoke me. Uh, this is the Anonymous Sockeye for Sockeye Witness News. Not reporting live from a stream. Live streaming and a live stream are different things, but we can explain that later on a future episode. Thank you very much. Thank Jack. you. Thank you again. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, take care.